Hi, welcome back. We're here. Let's start again. <laughs> don't, don't keep pressing it. We'll just, I'll find it and we'll record it. So, okay. okay. And action. Okay. Action. Okay, so we're back. Damn it. I'm, I have the giggles now. <sighs> okay. Just. Why can't we just cook? It's nice when you just <laughs> lean over it. Hi. See? No, I was fine the first time. You're still fine. Zoodle bowl. I have to say the word zoodle. Tuna steak zoodle bowl. Zoodle. Okay. Can't wait to put the bloopers in if I have time. Hi, welcome to Flash Flow. I'm Jules Torby, your host. I'm here with Leslie Santiana, and we're doing a tuna steak zoodle bowl courtesy of happy fit belly um, i'm going to put her description of her website in the in the description below um, she's got a lot of great recipes today we got two for you we got some zucchini pan over uh hummus hummus that we're going to do this is a zucchini and um we're going to also going to make the uh, tuna steak zoodle bowl which we're going to take the zucchini and we're going to turn it into noodles so um I'm gonna prop this thing onto my forehead so we can start cooking, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. One. Let's cook something. Okay. We're gonna do the marinade now, so one what? One tablespoon ginger powder. Okay, ginger powder, tablespoon. Mmm, smells like ginger powder. Oh, should have seen how easy this was going to get out of the jar. I need like a teaspoon to get the tablespoon out. Or, no, that's fine. Finger worked. Finger kind of worked. <laughs> Even when you put all the ingredients nice and neat, that's why, that's why a Martha Stewart, they have it in little pre-bowls already. This is why. <laughs> This exact reason. <laughs> you, may just, you may end up just cutting to those points. I'm not cutting. This is this is live, baby. We're doing the whole thing. Okay, one tablespoon, ginger powder. Done. Next. Uh, thank you. Thank you for bringing me that spoon. I appreciate it. One okay. tablespoon garlic powder. You're garlic powder. Next time we're gonna pre-measure. Show. Maybe you can show the actual item. Yeah, we can show. You see it? Yeah. Ooh, that looks cool. Yeah. Okay. Garlic powder. Done. Okay. And then you do uh, one quarter te teaspoon red pepper flakes. Quarter. Um, teaspoon. Little. Quarter. Here we go. Pepper flakes, done. Okay. Um, Do we need salt pinches, and pepper? A few pinches of salt and pepper. A few pinches of the imaginary salt and pepper. Okay, these are actually empty, guys. We're just, they're decorative, so. Okay, actually hand me some salt. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Okay. Always add more. Can't add less. Okay, next. Um, olive oil, one tablespoon. Okay. Olive oil, tablespoon. Hmm? You want to see the brand? Should I brand it? No. Is that what you're saying? But you can hold it up if you like that brand. Do you see it? Yeah. Terra Mia. Okay. Tablespoon, tablespoon. One tablespoon? Yes. Done. Okay. One quarter cup coconut aminos. Quarter cup. Ooh. Bottle, so we have the organic coconut liquid aminos by Bragg's. They make the uh, liquid aminos regular without the coconut also. 
Um, my first time using this. Let's, is it going to have a coconut quarter, taste? Quarter orange. I took a swig of that. Wow. That tastes like, wow. That's like the sauce you would get. What? Um, this tastes like the sauce you would get at a tempura restaurant. Yep. Okay, so quarter, quarter cup. And mix. Mix that. Oh, is that what the whisk was for? Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, We should time ourselves to see how long this is going to take. Okay. So it's almost now four. Sorry, sorry. And now you're going to slowly, when you're done doing that, pour it in the bag or? No, make your way over to the sink. Okay. Oh, we're going to clean the tuna now. Yep. Okay. Show the package of tuna, how much the weight is and everything. So we got tuna steak from Whole Foods, 36.81 for 1.5 pounds. Gonna turn the water on nice and cold. Wash the oh, look at that. That's huge. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. And then what? Have it dry. Uh, so you got the paper towels. You're so good. Do I use soap and water or I'm kidding? I'm gonna put that there. And I'm going to now wash the second one. Garbage? Okay. So I'm washing the fishy fish now. And then okay. I could use one more strip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that's not going Thank you. This is a very similar process for tofu if you want to marinate your tofu. I'm not sure if it's the same process for marinating steaks because I don't do that yet. Okay. Z Ziploc. Let me pat a little bit. Okay. This Ziploc bag is brought to you by Ziploc, makers of Ziploc. <laughs> okay. okay. Ziploc, check. Stay looking downward and begin to walk over to the right. Marinade is going into the bag now. And then turn the, once you do that, mm -hmm. turn the tuna a few times to cover it in the marinade. Oh, great. So I'm going to close it. I'm going to squeeze the air out. And now I'm going to coat it. Nice little massage. She says turn it. I guess that this is a turn. And we're going to put this in the fridge now, right? Mm -hmm. So let's put it in the fridge. Put it right next to the Good Belly Probiotics. Close the door, keep looking down, and now what? What, what are we going to do now? In this Cuisinart, we have the dressing to the tuna steak zoodle ball. We have a quarter cup of basil, a whole avocado, a whole juice of a lemon, two cloves of garlic, salt and pepper, and a quarter cup of olive oil, which we have set aside right over there. Uh, to eventually pour in here as this mixes. So um, remember to uh, take out those lemon seeds before you squeeze it because uh, picking through the Cuisinart to get all those lemon pits was not fun and not professional. So we're going to lock this in for safety. We're going to turn this thing around. We're going to turn it on and we're going to pray this is that it works. Locked. Loaded. Turn on. Great. We practiced this. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Leslie.
Woo! Okay. okay. Grab your olive oil. Okay. That's good stuff. Okay, now what? Now you will look at the bee. Wow, look at that. Oh my god, Leslie. Oh my god, that's so good. The acidity from that lemon and the creaminess of the avocado and the basil. I'm making this all the time. I'm putting this on everything. That's good. Good stuff. This stuff? And Should I put this stuff in there? No. No? Okay. Um, you will go over to the zucchini and cut cucumber. Oh, okay. Find the package of the Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. So, Leslie kindly got me this veggie spiralizer. I've used a veggie eddy from Bed Bath & Beyond before, but this is much better. And uh, she got one for herself. And we're gonna open it, nice and brand new, nice and fresh. Don't put your fingers in there, kids. Um, set the packaging off to the side, give it a quick rinse. And we're going to spiralize some zucchini, right? So not, where's the English one? This is the actual cucumber. We needed an English cucumber, which looks more British, right? What's the difference? Well, this is the difference, cucumber, English cucumber. Cucumber, English cucumber. They don't always have plastic wrap on it, but this one does. So we're going to take our knife and we're just going to slit. The plastic will come right off. And good. Okay, so the recipe calls for three medium sized zucchinis and one um, English cucumber. English cucumber! Um, so we're going to cut off the ends. Cut off a little bit too much there. Um, toss those in the sink. And we're going to cut off the ends. And toss those in the sink. And we're going to cut off the ends. Toss that in the sink. Okay. And why not? One more time. Cut off the ends. And toss that in the sink. Okay. So, we got this nice. Is this bowl going to be big enough? We shall find out. Um, okay, didn't cut off enough there. Okay, good. So, pretty self-explanatory. Oh, which way does it go? Not that way. Um, <laughs> should I take the skin off? I don't know. We'll find out. Does it say to take the skin off? I don't think so. Oh, great. So, uh, twist and shout music would be great for right now. You really want to be like as precise with your twists so you can get the longest strands possible. It's all about pressure. And if you don't have enough pressure, it's not going to have nice long noodles. And every now and then you can just cut it and, you know, get a new strand going, you know, because sometimes it gets clogged. So we're just going to clean that up and we're going to now make some nice long ones. Yeah, look at that. Mm. Get some nice long ones. Whoa, that was a good twist. Okay. Now we're going to fix this a little bit, and we're going to make more. Twist, twist. I, I personally would have the inverse of this. I would have a lot of cucumber and a little bit of zucchini. Are we boiling the zucchini, Leslie, or are we just eating it raw? It's just so spiralized. Hmm, interesting. So I think it's raw. This is what you kill a vegan vampire with. Okay. No? 
You didn't laugh at that one, so is that making the final cut? We'll find out next week. This is a good forearm workout, I will say. Okay, note to self, guys. Uh, get as thin a zucchini as you can, unless you got that stand-up peeler um, or spiralizer. You're going to run into the issue where it becomes too uh, fat for the hole. So, uh, I have to say, this is making beautiful strands, though. Nice and thin. These are going to taste really good. Also, another issue is that you get to a point where it's uh, too pointy. So, you're just going to chop that little pointy part off and start again. See, this is the problem. Yeah, we got, we're getting to the point where it's becoming a chore. Ugh. Turn, baby, turn, turn. Whew. Wow, this makes a lot. Okay. Gonna move on to the next one. We'll be right back after these short messages. Okay, so we have finished our zoodles. This is a bowl full of zoodles. Uh, the hard part was when you have a zucchini too big for your zucchini zoodler. Or you can buy three medium ones. If they're a little bit too thick, they're not going to work. Or you can buy them pre-made, pre-zoodled at Whole Foods for about five fifty. dollars um, About the same quality. These are a little thicker, as you can see. So uh, I think I'm going to prefer the handmade, homemade versions, but um, I'm totally going to use these tomorrow, and you'll see that in its own video. But um, continuing um, this recipe, we're going to take out the blade, and we're going to add our um, dressing. So this is the avocado, lemon, garlic, salt and pepper, and basil. And we're going to spoon that on, and we're going to mix that up. Wow, I would do shots of this dressing, it's that good. And it's healthy for you, it's not like there's no mayo. There is some olive oil, but extra virgin, very good for you. And get all the last bit out. Probably get the rest of it out with a piece of pita, because it's that tasty. Okay, so what's next, Leslie? Mm -hmm. um, toss and mm -hmm. Then you set it in the fridge and take the tuna out. Great. Okay, so I'm going to toss this. We're going to get the tuna and we'll be back. We're going to get rid of our zucchinis here. We're going to clean off this cutting board. And we're going to now chop or have uh, two pints of tomatoes. Uh, we have, oops, that was loud. Um, we have the organic ones because unorganic tomatoes have more pesticides. All well, duh, organic. But um, yeah, tomatoes soak up pesticides much more than other vegetables, so they're ones that you should buy um, organic. So I'm gonna chop up a few here. I don't know how to do the plate method where you just put them on a plate and then cut the plate in half. Uh, so I got to do them the old-fashioned way, you know, using the weight of the knife. Uh, but we'll be back after I uh, finish, you know, two pints. Also, if I had fingernails, it be, would be helpful. So we have our tomatoes chopped. We have uh, a little less than two pints because it's just the two of us eating it. And that's a lot of tomatoes. So, And I also needed to save some for tomorrow. But, um... So we have them all halved, and now we have to have hearts of palm um, in quarter inch uh, sliced. Uh, we got it canned, and we're gonna drain it. So I'm gonna keep the lid on. Mmm, that smells good. Okay, got a few stragglers. Okay, so. These are already pre-chopped, so 
Um, do we need to chop these? Are they? These are good. Okay. So now gotta take the pickled ginger from your left, your left. Mm -hmm. so we got organic pickled ginger, sushi grain. Mm -hmm. Okay. And take four tablespoons of that. Four tablespoons. Okay. One. Two. Okay. Three. Four. Okay. Yeah. Is it neatly? Yeah. Okay. Tomatoes, we have our ginger, more tomatoes, wow, who's eating all this stuff? Well, I really hope this is good because I have a little bit of a bias towards hearts of palm. Let's try some. Maybe it's just because I don't know what it is. Like my mom puts it in her salads. I don't know what it is. It's not bad. It's meaty. It's Hearts of Palm is artichoke, right? Yeah. And we're back, guys. Thank you for sticking with us. We have the final step, one of the final steps. We have the tuna steaks. Been marinating for over half an hour. We have our trusty timer and our... Uh, Teflon skillet. I'm gonna put it on medium heat. Medium is not low, but not high, so medium. And um, we have, let the pan get a little hot, prime it with some olive oil. And uh, sometimes I like to do a happy face. That one did not work. Uh, you wanna coat the pan. Sometimes I use a paper towel. But a few shakes, maybe your hand, get that nice and coated. Okay, so let that heat up a little bit. And we're going to take our tuna, and it's five minutes aside. Is that correct, Leslie? Yes. So I have my timer here. So you make it right, keep it right in the middle? Yeah, I, I have going to wait a few seconds for that to heat up. Um, okay. So while this is heating up, I'm going to do some quick cleanup. We're going to pour that out, we're going to throw all that in, and throw that in, and throw all this stuff in. And we can do that fine stuff later. Okay, so we're going to clean up the garbage disposal. You're going to turn the water on, you're going to turn it on, and you can just use your, use your key as a... I know, it's just, just a garbage disposal. Okay. There. Okay, that's good. Feel a little bit better. Okay, and we're going to turn back to our pan, which is nice and hot now. Clean those hands. Clean those hands. Okay. And we're going to go and we're going to take our two tuna steaks and we're going to sear it for five minutes, keeping it rare. Starting the timer now. Start. Good. Five minutes. Um, good. So this is, yeah, we're, we'll be back in a few minutes to flip. And we're back. We're going to flip these now because I fumbled with the beginning and they might have been too hot. So let's just flip it. Oh, perfect. Nice. Look at that. Look at that color. Good job, Jessica, for giving us a five minute on medium timing. That was good. That was very good. And we have approached our 10 minute mark, and we have these tuna steaks that we're going to take off the heat. And I'm going to turn over here gingerly. Haha, <laughs> ginger. Um, and we're going to put these tuna steaks on the cutting board. If I can get a hold of one. Come on, tuna steak. Don't you know you're on camera? Yeah, don't you know you're on camera? Whew, hot. Whew, hot, hot, hot. Okay, now they're on the cutting board. Sorry, buddy. Okay. Mmm, 
That tastes really good. That marinade's good. So cubes? Uh, yes, however you would like to serve. Okay, so in our bowls here, we have the hearts of palm and tomatoes garnish. We have the zoodle mixture, which is zucchini and cucumber. English cucumber, if you're paying attention. And uh, so we're gonna start um, setting this up. So we have a beautiful dressing. We're gonna, how much do you want, Leslie? That much? Yay, yay amount? How do you know the dog? Don't. Do you have to come into my video, Mama, like that? That's great. Do we have to let this rest at all? Yeah, if you can get two more tuna steaks. I'm kidding. No, we're good. Apples. Apples would be great. Do we? Mmm, yum. You like it? Great. Do you want yours cubed? Do you want yours sliced? If you wanted to do something nice, you could put uh, some logs in the fireplace, open the flue, and you can have a nice little fire here. Is that on you? Bye. Yeah, great. Thank you. Bye. Oh, it looks like you have cherry tomatoes as well. It's okay. Where are the logs? Are they outside? Yeah. Thank you again. Okay. Can do them a little bit more rare next time, but this is really good. Medium rare. Looks good. Let's make another one. Okay. What are those doing again? That's me. Mmm. Wow. That's good. Okay. So, I think we're done here, guys. So, just to recap, we have our zoodle bowl, which is the zucchini and English cucumber, three to one ratio, zucchini to cucumber. Um, with a avocado lemon um, dressing with some garlic, basil, salt, and pepper. Um, and then we have the cherry tomatoes and the uh, hearts of palm with some organic pickled ginger. We have the tuna steaks, five minutes aside, but to be honest, I think four minutes aside would be better next time. But I, I love tuna this way. A little bit more rare would be my preference, but... Um, yeah, that marinade soaked up really beautifully, and it's really tender, and it's a great protein source. Um, wow, that's so much better than a canned tuna fish. Uh, we have, and the most important thing, besides the fork, is the friend to share it with. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So thank you, Jess, from Happy Fit Belly, for uh, showing us this recipe. It took us about, uh, what, three hours to make it? <laughs> uh, I don't know. We, we had a lot of um, hiccups with the GoPro, but um, not your fault, Jess, our fault. Um, but looks beautiful. We'll let you know how it tastes after we eat it. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, bon appetit.